Okay, so this is a case example of a uh, anterior spinal artery syndrome. So what we have here is a patient who in dermatones T4, which is approximately at the level of the nipple, and below, including both the legs and the trunks, is presenting with bilateral loss of motor function. And so in this case, this um, represents a lesion in the uh, central nervous system, so that would correspond to upper molar neuron syndrome, and also bilateral loss to pain and temperature sensation. Okay, so when we think about the motor function, we're thinking about the cortical spinal tract or the pyramidal tract, and when we think about a loss in pain and temperature sensation, we think about the spinal thalamic tract that runs in the ventrolateral aspect of the spinal cord. Okay, so this patient um, has uh, proprioceptive sense, vibration sense, and fine touch. So all of that is intact, meaning that the dorsal medial lamiscus pathway, or the dorsal column medial lamiscus pathway is intact and not affected. Okay, so this is just a um, schematic demonstrating or summarizing the effects um, of uh, this case. Okay, and all of this, um, this bilateral loss in uh, motor function as well as loss in pain and uh, temperature sensation um, actually is all due to an infarction in the anterior spinal artery. And so if we look at this cross-section of the spinal cord, we see that this whole area bilaterally is supplied by the anterior spinal artery. And this, this dorsal aspect, which includes the dorsal column medial lamiscus pathway is actually supplied by the posterior spinal artery. Okay, so if we have an infarction in the anterior spinal artery, all of this here will be damaged. Okay, which means that you can see the spinal thalamic tract on both sides being affected. That will take down uh, pain and temperature sensation, as well as the pyramidal tract, sort of cortical spinal um, tract ways for both sides are also affected. So you'd see upper motor syndrome bilaterally. And again, this uh, area here, the dorsal aspect, which com contains the dorsal column medial lamiscus pathway, is supplied by uh, posterior spinal artery, which is not affected in this anterior spinal artery infarction. So in someone with a um, anterior spinal artery um, syndrome, we'd see, again, the main things we'd see is bilateral loss in motor function, as well as pain and temperature sensation, but we would see no effect on uh, vibration, fine touch, as well as proprioceptive um, sense, which all reflects the intact uh, dorsal medial lamiscus uh, column pathway.